For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem. It's uh, rather a bit long. So, the tow line exerts a force of P of 6 kN at the end of the 8 meter long crane boom. If X is equal to 10 meters, determine the position of theta so that this force creates a maximum moment about O. So, this is what we know. We know that we have this triangle right here. You know that for P to create a maximum moment, the angle between the boom and P has to be 90 degrees. So let me erase that. So the angle has to be 90 degrees for it to create a maximum moment. And you know that X, which goes all the way to here, is equal to 10 meters. So I want you to find this angle theta that makes these conditions true. Now, remember that actually X goes all the way to here. So let's call this X prime and let's call this X x double prime and let's call this long thing if it's 10 meters let's call it x so you know that x prime plus x double prime is equal to 10 meters this condition is true and you know that this angle right here is theta same as here so the moment The maximum moment that this force can create, which is when this angle is 90 degrees, is 6 times the lever arm that is turning of 8 meters. So it's 6 kilonewtons times 8 meters, which comes out to be 48 kilonewton meters. So that's the maximum moment it creates. Now, what I want you to find is the angle theta, and that's where it gets a bit tricky. So you know that x double prime is equal to cosine of theta is equal to 8 meters because this length right here is the hypotenuse of this right triangle so x double prime times the cosine of the angle that we're trying to find is equal to 8 that's the first thing we know so x double prime is equal to 8 cosine of theta now you also know that we have another right triangle right here. Let me redraw it a little bigger. That's right right here. This is theta. This is x prime. And this is one meter given right here. So you know that tangent of theta is equal to x prime over one meter so x prime is equal to tangent of theta now now we're gonna get to solving all this system you know that this is one formula we're gonna use this is another formula that we're gonna use and this is the other formula that we're gonna use we got three formulas and we got one two and three variables three variables and three equations so we can solve the system so let me add a new page let me rewrite this formula so we don't forget it x is equal to 8 over cosine of theta x double prime i'm sorry x double prime is equal to 8 cosine of theta is one of our formulas x prime is equal to tangent of theta is another one of our formulas and x prime plus x double prime is equal to 10 so you know that 10 then is equal to x prime plus x double prime now x prime is equal to tangent of theta 
and x double prime is equal to 8 over cosine of theta. And as you can see, we have now one equation and one variable theta. That is what we need to find. Now, the way I, there might be another way to do it, but that's the way I did it really quick. Not that quick. 10 is equal to sine of theta over cosine of theta. That's tangent of theta is equal to sine of theta cosine of theta plus 8 over cosine of theta. Now, as you can see, the whole right side of the equation is being divided by cosine of theta, so we can pass that to the left side, and you have 10 cosine of theta is equal to sine of theta plus 8. Now you know that we arrange this a little bit, 10 cosine of theta minus 8 is equal to sine of theta. Now you know from trigonometry that sine square of theta plus cosine square of theta is equal to 1. So if you solve for sine of theta is equal to the square root of 1 minus cosine square of theta. So you're going to replace this by sine of theta. So you get 10 cosine of theta minus 8 is equal to the square root of 1 minus cosine square of theta. Now you square both sides and you get 100 cosine square of theta minus 160 cosine of theta plus 64 is equal to 1 minus cosine square of theta. Now you need to solve for 0, in other words you need to pass all these values to the left side and you're going to get 101 cosine square of theta minus 160 cosine of theta plus 63 is equal to 0. Now to make this a little more uh, eye appealing, make it easy for you to see it, I'm going to replace cosine of theta by x and then I'm going to replace it back. So you get that 101 x squared minus 160 x plus 63 is equal to 0. And you can solve this equation using the formula negative v plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. So x can be one or two values. It could be negative 160. Actually, it's positive 160 because the 160 is already negative plus square root of 160 square minus 4 times 101 times 63 all over 202 which is 2a or 160 minus square root of 160 square minus 4 times 101 times 63 all over 202. When you solve these two numbers, you're going to get that x is equal to either 0 0.852 or 0 0.732 meters. Now, you might be wondering why we have two answers. Well, it is possible in a lot of problems to have two answers, that two answers might work. In other words, there will be two positions where you could put this truck. But in this particular problem, there's only one right answer and I'm going to show you how to find it. So now that we have the value for x, actually which x is this? Oh yeah, this is the tiny x, obviously. So that will be x prime. Oh, I'm sorry, this is not x prime. I made a mistake. This x is the x that I replace by cosine of theta, I should have used another letter, I apologize. So you replace this back and you get that cosine of theta is equal to either 0 0.852 or 0 0.732 meters. Actually not meters, just 0 0.732. So you solve for theta by doing the cosine inverse of, of each of these two and you get that is equal to either 31.57 degrees or 42.9 degrees. Now, since you have these two values for theta, you can go back to our original equations, right? 
and you're gonna plug in onto this one. You're gonna plug them into both. But when you plug them into this one, x double prime is equal to eight over cosine of theta, which is either this one or that one. You put 31.57 or eight over cosine of 42.9 degrees. So this is gonna give you that x double prime is either equal to 9.39 meters, makes sense, or 10.92 meters with the 42.9. Now, there's a problem. How can x double prime be 10.92 meters if you know by looking at the problem that the addition of x prime and x double prime, which is, they're both positive, obviously, should be 10. There's no way it can be 10.92. So this is discarded, which means that 42.9 is discarded, and this is the angle that where this thing sits. Now, if you wanted to find the value of uh, egg, the other x, all you got to do is 10 minus 9.39, and you will find that, or you can plug in theta into, into here, and you will find it, but they're not really asking you for that. So the angle that uh, theta is equal to 39.39, 57 degrees final answer so let me give you a quick summary of what we did we solved for theta we have three three variables so we created three formulas then we solved for theta and then we got two answers whenever you got two answers you plug them into all your formulas and you make sure that everything makes sense if everything makes sense then there's more than one answer to the problem if there is if one answer that doesn't make sense like right here where it give me 10.92 then you can discard that answer and this is the right answer so 31.57 degrees final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you